Okay, so I know that you guys have run Abbott. The water around the main platform is the same as Heroic Abbott, and that, you know, it's like death water that's going to tick for a lot of damage. And this water seems to be more deadly than Abbott. It seems to get uh, more deadly the longer you're in it. So you're in it just, be just like before. You just want to swim back up to the platform as fast as possible. So when we step forward, uh, Abbott's going to come down. We're going to beat him down to 70% and then he's going to disappear and that's where the similarities to Heroic Abbott end. One D door will appear once the Abbott is at 70 and he disappears and it will be in the center where the old center D door is right across the platform from us. Okay, anybody who's new, I want you to go into that D door. There are no puzzles in this raid like there are in Heroic Abbott. You're just going to go in there, you're going to beat down some trash, you're going to kill a Death Knight uh, then you're going to break the sarcophagus, and you're going to grab the, the quest item off of the altar. In this case, um, I need somebody to grab. It's the goggles that are in there that allow you to see invisible tiles that are fading in and out, phasing in and out all around this platform, and they're there right now. We just can't see them. And the person with the goggles can see them, and you're going to use that to find a safe path to D-doors that will appear after the first D-door is done in the southwest and northeast of this zone way out in the water. But uh, in addition to the person with the goggles that can see a safe path, you know, if you are a good self-healing tune, you can actually just swim through the water and jump heal, just like the old you know, method you used to swim through ice. You just jump and heal, get to those D-doors, and uh, behind the southwest and northeast E-door are rooms that look exactly like the middle E-door. Uh, there's a death knight there, there's some trash, there's a sarcophagus that needs to be broken, and then there's a quest item in each of those. In the northeast E-door are rocks, which are used for the same, re same thing as uh, Old Abbot to break people out of encasement. There's no asteroids puzzle, again, there's no puzzle in this raid. And the southwest E-door are the wands, which you can use to make ice ball platforms out in the water as safe spots from the inferno. We're not going to use those though because there are safe spots for the infernos on the platform. Basically at the corners, you can see this platform is not a perfect circle. There are corners, and at the corners in which the archers spawn, you want to be at the very edge and those are safe spots from the inferno. I have no idea if that's working as intended or not, so that is subject to change in the future. For now, those are safe spots, and that's where you want to go if there's an inferno. But if you're beating on the abbot, and if the abbot is down, you should be beating on him, then he he won't inferno. He seems to only inferno when he gets bored, when nobody's paying attention to him, because he, he's desperate for attention, so he infernos to, to get our attention. <laughs> so, once all three D doors are, um, the tasks in there are, are completed, you kill the death knights, break the sarcophagus, grab the quest item, everybody comes back here. And that's when Lady Vol appears. We're not going to be beating on her at any point. She just exists to make our lives miserable. She's going to try to kill us in all sorts of nasty ways, including she does a dragon breath, which I think is poison damage, or maybe it's acid. And then this is crucial. This is the most important yeah, it's poison. part. It's poison? Totally. Okay. This is the most important part. She starts doing the marks of death, which are like blue clouds. They look like cloud kill, but blue. They're low-lying blue clouds. If you're if you see that, don't go into it. And she, as she's casting it, she puts down a blue ring, so you know where it's going to appear a few seconds later. So if you see, if you're in that, get out. If you're in the mark of death, you can't cast, and you tick like a hundred damage like five times a second. You'll be you'll be dead really really quick. And when you're new to this, it's it's. You know, it doesn't really look like anything else in the game. You're not used to staying out of it, and so it's probably going to kill you. <laughs> Just try to stay out of it. So at that point, we're going to beat the abbot down to 50%. Then the abbot's going to take a little break, and the three death knights are going to appear. We're going to bring them together. We're going to DPS them all down. And after they're all dead, the abbot's going to come back, and it's the final beatdown. All during this time, Vol's going to be chasing us around with her dragon breath putting marks of death all over this platform, four, five, six, seven of them at a time. There's going to be quells running around that are going to make it hard to cast. There's going to be beholders. There's going to be people that
they're going to be um, it, it's great to charm them in this case we have people that are going to be uh, flesh to stoning them so just leave the beholders alone and there's going to be archers around the outside trying to kill us too and so basically there are all kinds of nasty things trying to kill us during the final beatdown I'm going to talk us through the entire raid too but do you have any questions? I'm going to go ahead and get the goggles since I'm recording this I want uh, that to show up on video and again uh, Jamia and Crowley since it's your first time I want you to go into that first detour to see what that's like thanks for your patience folks let's do this you, the so -called adventurers who infest Stormreach. your kind ruined my ascension to God Just like in Heroic Abbot, the Abbot has a mantle of invulnerability, so he's immune to fourth level and lower spells. Ginger, did you do um, Dior assignments? Did I miss that at my school southwest? Yes. Yeah, I want uh, Tanks and Naximus to go southwest, and then Corman and I will go northeast. If there's someone else that can go southwest, that would be awesome. And I will grab the goggles. Actually, tanks are the healer in Aximus Southwest, so it should be fine. Just kill the Beholders first, and then go after the Death Knight. is no the sarcophagus breaks. A small bag appears on the room's altar. Burning with divine magic, your eyes now make out things left unseen. So you can see some of these uh, are static just like old Abbott. The blue ones do not phase in and out. Uh, they just start to turn red. Uh, as they're phasing. And so if you're trying to swim this, you're typically, you know, you're going right alongside of the pillars because then you could try to jump on it and just walk along here. Even though there's a gap, you can walk along. And then, you know, just keep jumping because the, the more you're in the air, the less chance that you'll have to fall. And right now, jumping on top of these blocks uh, is safe. I like this spot better than on top of the pillar over there because the Death Knight Whoa. can get on top of the pillar. Yeah. Jamia and uh, Crowley are just going to hang out in the center and kill trash. If the Abbot's down, you should be beating on the Abbot. We don't have rocks yet, Esoteris. So that's one of the crappy things about Market Death is that you can get encased and there can be infernos. Well, infernos we got safe spots for right now, but you can get encased before you ever have rocks. Go to the safe spots, folks, where the archers are spawning or at. And just like in Heroic Abbot, the Inferno acts as a curse. If you get hit by it, you need to drink a curse spot, otherwise you're going to continue to tick hit point and spell point damage, and you'll be very sad. And it doesn't show up in your, in your buff bar. So at this point of the raid, um, the platforms disappear. So 
early early on we used to use these as like safe spots for the infernos like we'd have an anchor here and everybody would know to jump to that but you know then we found the safe spots from the, from the archers and plus they disappear as soon as Vol is done talking anyways Now we want to beat on the abbot. Abbot's in the south. This is where the marks of death start spawning, so watch out for them. You're in here, it like darkens and you can't cast. And to show you, it takes a lot of damage. Bring the Death Knights together, and that's just so the AoEs can affect them all. If you die, go to the center for raise. That is because uh, if you're in the center, everybody else can reach you no matter where they are on the platform if you're in the center. So always go to the center if you die and you need a raise. Now, once the Death Knights uh, are are killed, Lady Vol does this pounce attack, and she does these waves that emanate from her in the center, then that lets you know it's coming, then she'll jump up in the air, and then she, she, it does a lot of damage, and she doesn't, it actually does an insta-kill effect too, so you need to make sure you have death block, not just death ward, because death ward gets dispelled by the beholders, you need to have death block in this raid. And this is the one part of the raid that I'm not real happy with about a good way to deal with the damage that happens when she does the pounce attack. Like if I'm on a healer I tell people to collapse in the center and I just spam heals through it but it's you know it's not a perfect system. Some, some people have said that if you're further away from it like on the outside you take less damage. Other people have said if you jump when she does her pounce attack you won't take any damage. I like to use the um, T with the Queen to avoid the damage. Go to the center for raise. We hold her loose. It's the final beat down. Abbott's in the center. Abbott dies, we win. Oh, thank you, Bob. in the center. That is liver. Great job, guys. Then dissolves to dust. Bull grows sullen and relinquishes her assault. What have you done? I would have used There's a shrine you can use to raise yourself. Jamia and Crowley, I know that's really uh, chaotic your first time. It's a chaotic raid in general. But do you have any questions about anything that happened? And, uh, Jamia, you can do the honors. Congrats on your first Mark of Death.